we begin tonight with a special celebration, a milestone birthday for longtime political and equal rights uh, leader, Leon Williams. Yeah, Williams turned 100 years old and was honored at a ceremony today. Fox 5's Alani Latang was there and joins us live to give us a look. Alani. Jason Misha, something so, so cool about turning 100 years old and saying that you were born in 1922. I just think that's so fascinating here. But Williams is a person that touched many hearts in the city and in the county. Dozens showing up today for a birthday ceremony to honor him and the legacy that he continues to leave behind. I've gotten so old. <laughs> I think I've done a little bit in my old days. And it really doesn't do much good to hurt other people for your old days. A century of life and wisdom. And he's a great human being, and I'm not saying that just because he's my father. I watch him every day, see how he interacts with others. He's an inspiration. Leon Williams is 100 years old with a legacy that trails behind him for others to follow in. His daughter, Elisa, is proud of that. I was able to really glean a lot about the kindness and the fairness and um, being just towards others. Get on your feet right now and welcome Leon Williams to the podium. Show him how much you love him and appreciate him. Supervisor Chair Nathan Fletcher honoring Williams with the Lifetime Achievement Award from the county. You see a man with a heart, with kindness and compassion, and if we need anything right now, we need more of that. Again, I want to try and be a little bit brief because when I turn 100, I'm hoping I don't have to hear from a lot of politicians. That's Mayor Todd Gloria declaring July 30th Leon Williams Day. There would be none of us. None of us would be serving in public office if Leon Williams didn't blaze the trail. If he didn't open up the door. If he didn't take the slings and arrows through that bulletproof suit that he would wear. Williams is a longtime political and equal rights leader. Sometimes at night I don't sleep because I'm thinking about him and age and how we can create a better society. Elected as San Diego's first black councilman in 1969, then going on to be the first black county supervisor in 1982, Williams is honored continuously on plaques throughout the city. And I love it because I think it means there's a little bit of growth that we learned, that we're all learning a little bit. Williams has life lessons for all of us. But I really think it really comes down to mutual respect. All human beings ought to respect other human beings. I asked Williams what he plans to do. Well, he's not going to be jumping back into that political ring here. He said he's going to enjoy his time at home with his family. He said he has a house that oversees all of San Diego, and he said he's going to marvel in the beauty. Reporting live downtown, I'm Melani Latang, Fox 5 News.